That's right. What's up? It's Andreas, your host, all in his man suit. Everything like I promised I would do. I'm in my man suit. As you can see, see? Nothing but underwear on. And I got my mic on. I mean, I got to have the mic on. So, as I told you guys, if I didn't beat the ESPN Sports Writers last week, I would do it in my man suit. But thanks to you, we didn't get enough views, so I get to do it inside and it doesn't add to my shrinkage. Thank you very much because it's very cold outside. So we get to do it here at the sweatshop. Now, with no further ado, we're going to go to the week 15's picks. Let's see how we do this week. I'm still taking on the ESPN Sports Writers. No bets, no nothing. We're just going to beat them because this week is my week. 15 is my number. Right here. We're going to start off real quick. Colts, Jags, they play tomorrow on Thursday Night Football. Very tough because the Colts might be resting their, their players, you never know. They might take them out in the first half. They might not even play. They're saying they're playing, but you never know. So I'm actually going to go with the Jags to beat the Colts. A little bit of upset, but it wouldn't be an upset if they arrest their starters. Cowboys, Saints, pretty easy. Cowboys talking a lot, a smack, but the Saints coming home, and the Saints are marching in. There you go. Saints will take it. Packers, Steelers. Packers are riding high. Steelers are on the low. Ha! Guess what? Steelers all the way. I am actually predicting that it's going to be a 14, 15 point win right here. Packers, uh, Packers are going to get stomped by the Steelers. Next, we got the Dolphins and the Titans. <sighs> Another tough one. Dolphins kind of surprised me last week in beating Jacksonville at, at their place, but I'm going to go with the Titans. They're still riding high, even though they lost to the Colts last week. We got Patriots Bills. Pretty easy. Patriots, they're going to get ready for the playoffs. They're going to stomp all over the Bills, avenge that close win they had on week one. Cardinals-Lions. Hmm, this should be easy. Now, I'm going to go with the Cardinals because that's the, that's the sexy pick. But I'm telling you, if you're a betting man, Lions, don't sleep on them because there might be a huge upset with the Lions over the Cardinals. Now we got the 49ers and the Eagles. 49ers beat the Cardinals last week in a big upset. I'm going to go with the Eagles because they're not playing at home. So Eagles are going to beat the 49ers. Going over to the second board, we got the Falcons and the Jets. <sighs> not a tough one because the Falcons are actually playing well with their backups. You never know. I, Mike Turner might play. I don't know. But I'm going to go with the Jets to beat the Falcons by a close margin. Bears, Ravens, pretty easy. Ravens going to win. It's going to be a low scoring game. Trust me, there's going to be nothing but field goals and maybe one touchdown. Browns, Chiefs, whew, another tough one. Last week, the Chiefs let me down, but I'm going to go with them again because they're playing the Browns. So we'll see. Texans, Rams, we'll go with the Texans. Rams are really packing it in. They're trying to get that number one pick, you know what I mean, for next year. Bengals, Chargers, ah, that's, that's a good matchup. Bengals lost to the Vikings last week, but Chargers are riding high at home. Bengals haven't really proven themselves away from Cincinnati to come up with a big win late in the season now. I'm going to go with the Chargers. Probably a huge game. It's probably going to be like a 28-27 type of deal. Uh, Raiders, Broncos. Raiders are done. I mean, they are done. Whoa. Hey, what's going on? Hello? Oh, man, it's, it is our upset special guy. He wants me to let you know, hey, let's, first of all, I'm in the middle of my picks here, okay? But you're supposed to call on like four more picks, buddy, all right? But he wants to let you guys know that he's actually riding high. He says, yeah, I got two out of three upsets last week with his 49ers because I'm getting a lot of emails saying, hey, who's that upset special guy? He wants his name out there. They call him Burt Diesel. Don't, t don't ask me why. I don't know why. Burt Diesel, the upset special guy. So what's your picks this week? Okay. All right. Really? Hmm. All right. Thanks, buddy. Bert Diesel, the upset special guy. We'll see how he does. We'll see how he does. We're going to go with the upsets. I'll tell you the upsets in a second. Let me just finish off my, my uh, little board here. Broncos, Raiders, like I said, Raiders are going nowhere. Going downhill fast. They got their third string quarterback. Go with the Broncos. Easy pick right there. Big blowout over the Raiders. Bucks, Seahawks, two bad teams. Seahawks at home, easy. There you go. Vikings, Panthers. Whew. Panthers, you never know what you get with them. 
they played the they played the Patriots tough last week in in New England. So we'll see. I mean, I, I'm gonna go with the Vikings, but this is a tough one to pick because the Panthers. You never know what you get with this team. This team can beat anybody on any given Sunday, and then they also lose to the Rams and likes the teams like that. Giants, Redskins, our Monday Night Football game. This is tough. This is tough. I'm going to go with the Giants to beat the Redskins. The Redskins are the underdog, but that's going to be a tough pick right there. Tough pick. Now, let me show you the Burt Diesel upset special picks. He went two for three last week. Let's see how he does this week. He actually says, he says because I have the Col the Jags over the Colts, it's not really an upset. If they, it, it's an upset if they play with their starters. It's not an upset if they don't play with their starters. So he says, get rid of the Eagles. So we're getting rid of the Eagles right here. And he wants to go with the 49ers again. Nice. He, he was riding high with the Cardinals and 49ers. He says that's going to be an upset. He says over here, he wants to go with the Browns to upset the Chiefs. They're a little bit of an underdog. So the Browns to upset the Chiefs. And then he says the Redskins will upset the Giants. That's a big one right there on Monday night. Giants have everything to play for. That's, that's a good upset right there. Now to recap my upsets, the 49ers, the Browns, and the Redskins. But if you have money laying around that you're willing to lose, Lions over the Cardinals. You can make a big buck, but you can also lose it. But you heard it here first, Lions. Keep your money on there to make some huge money. It'll upset the Cardinals. Man, are you serious? Mom. Seriously, I'm doing a show. I'm doing a show. Mom, I told you, I want meatloaf. Meatloaf, Mom. Thanks. All right. Love you, too. Okay. Sorry, guys. Jeez, you know how moms get. Just to let you guys know, here we go. Here's the whole board. If you don't see it, Jacks, Saints, Steelers, Titans, Patriots, Cardinals, 49ers, Jets, Ravens, Browns, Texans, Chargers, Broncos, Seahawks, Vikings, and the good old Redskins. Keep it tuned to my show. Keep tuning in. I got a huge, huge announcement to make about a project that I'm launching in 2010. So keep it locked. I'm your host, Andreas. I'm going to take my Pringles and my beer, and I'm out of here.